Hey everyone, welcome back to Action Hank. Um, it's been a while since I've pl played this game. <laughs> Funnily enough, um, maybe even since I've last recorded it a week ago. But in any case, um, what I'm gonna do on Harker Hooks is I'm gonna be showing you my ghost and it's and explaining what what I'm doing. But I'm probably not gonna be able to make that happen. Uh, basically real real time afterwards so right at the start you run until you reach the hook and hook immediately so th so that you grab the upper block instead of this f very first one this will give you a long swing which you can release here jump up and hook right away this will save you a lot of time Rather than going all the way around. So you hook back here, slide down. And try to grab this piece of the block to swing up. Grab this block. Jump down here. Get a long rope going. But this, uh, this requires a lot of practice until you get that. So that you would be able to release here and jump up here. Getting that in one go requires a lot of practice and you're oftentimes gonna end up getting too much rope and then um, you know just land on the wall much earlier and not being able to get up. So here you wanna jump down, get into this little um, convoluted part with the turbo pads so that you slide on the turbo pads, jump here, hit the bounce pad slide and hook up there towards the finish that is how you do it and i'm probably not going to be able to show it here live in action so the, what we're going to do instead is uh, take a look at high speed history this is still the time that once was the official world record for like 15 minutes or so so you've seen you, see, you may have seen this video before like the video of that offset world record attempt. I'm just gonna let it run through wo uh, quickly once and then I'm gonna explain it a little bit uh, better after that. Because coming back after like a week of not playing this game and not feeling too comfortable really doesn't make me wanna do hardcore hooks right away. Whereas I like this track quite a bit, even though it's tricky and. Uh, I would much prefer doing this today. So we run, jump at the very edge, hold slide so that you lose height a little bit. Then you land onto this ju jump, keep sliding through the air all the way so that you land early on this turbo pad. Don't miss any of its boost. Jump. At jump at the end hold slide then jump right uh, right again w while still holding slide and then jump at the very end of this half loop to to get you the most speed and then just hold slide for a while here jump at the very edge of that quarter pipe land onto the boost pad and jump relatively early here so you still have a lot of speed and you can go high and when you land you jump right away again this also takes a lot of practice and precision to get this part properly but you want to jump at the end of this slide jump again to maintain speed and you slide here these these loopings by the way require jumps to get up you can't just hold slide and make it same goes for this one and you jump halfway again Actually, not in this one. I'm gonna do it on my run though. And jump here. Land in this. This also, I mean, it's gonna take you a little while until you get that uh, correct, but once you get it, it's not that hard. So 29.94 is a time that I'm probably not gonna beat today. Wait, why did I just. 
Excuse me? Okay, I can still jump. That first split is basically meaningless though in most cases. That second one isn't. Oh man. I'm I'm really out of shape in this game. This is one of one of the games where you know once you stop playing it uh, frequently um, you you're gonna take some time to get back into shape it's like exercising in real life if you if you start like if you do it regularly it's, everything is fine and when you stop doing it after a while you're just gonna find yourself oh I, I can't do, do what I was doing before anymore I gotta practice more and I gotta just put more work into this until I'm until I am back at the point where I already was a while ago. This is exactly the kind of situation I found myself in right here. This should be decent, well, I mean, I'm not gonna be setting a new world record here anyway, so... I mean, I, I could try and go for the for a new world record, but there's two problems. One, um, num number one and two on this track are using macros, Zato and Nick. And it's the second problem is that um, I just I just don't know what to do better on my on my on my current PB. Like it, it it was the world record at its time for a reason. Like it's it was a really strong run. So let's turn that in here. 30-42 is a pretty good time all things considered. It should still be like top 15 or so, maybe top 20, but it's still almost half a second behind my personal PB, so I'm not happy with, with it. That was a good sector turn. Oh, and I messed it up there. That was just not good. I should definitely play some more action Hank in the next couple of uh, days until the next until I shoot the next episode anyway. Um, because next up in on this level patch is gonna be the ultimate test which is a hard level even compared to like the other back to the city levels it's it's a really hard level but of course uh, in in like two days from now climbing by the afterbirth is gonna be coming out and I don't know if I'm gonna have very much time or rather motivation to play Action Hank when uh, you know the new Rebirth expansion comes out. This was a great second section. Oh, I messed up that jump.
I was actually ahead at the last split. Ah, oh, and then I messed that up. This is just also a very precise jump. Don't don't get me wrong. Like, sure it's my fault I messed up, but it's also a pretty tricky landing to do. Got a little bit of a frame drop going on there. You see, you want to jump early off of the first turbo pad so that you can use the second one to a better extent, boosting you into this direction that you're actually going to go afterwards. Like that, that was good. And then I messed up that jump. That jump at this point, at, at that point in particular, is so important for your overall momentum. This was okay, but not necessarily great. Quite good. Oh, okay, that was just very bad on that middle section. Got a lot of momentum going up there. Ah, oh, and then I messed up that jump again. This is also like the middle part is probably the hardest part on this. On this track. So thirty, thirty one. How are we doing here? 30, 31 is like 11th place, which is not bad, but we can do better. Come on. Can we do better? Yeah, we can. 30-12. Pretty good time. So, uh, right, that is High Speed Hysteria. Hope you guys learned something from this video. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment if you did. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.